hurt you, you haunt me by Alyssa Schroeder. A dare can change everything. Ava goes through a time where her boyfriend dies because of one dare she gave him. She suffers through the pain of it and doesn't know what to do. So she ends up seeing him in her dreams. He haunts her. He follows her everywhere in her home. What do you like about this book? I like that the book is very detailed. Like every page you turn, you get like like in more in depth with the book. What I like about the book is that no matter what happens, Ava keeps going and tries to she remembers him, but she tries to forget that he's there. And now I'm going to read you a clip of this book. I've never been to a funeral until today. I see dazzling arrangements of red, yellow, and purple flowers with long red green stems. I see a stained glass window with a white dove, a yellow sun, a blue sky. I see a golden cross standing tall, shiny, and brilliant. And I see black. Black dresses, black pants, black shoes, black Bibles. Black's my favorite color. Jackson asked me about it one time. Ava, why don't you like pink or yellow or blue? I like black, I said. It suits me. I suit you, he said. And then he kissed me. I'm not so sure I love black anymore. And then beyond the flowers, beneath the stained glass window, beside the cross, I see a white casket. I see red burning love disappear forever. My mom reaches over and pulls my hand from my mouth where I chew on my, the flap of skin along the side of my thumb since I have no more nails left to chew on. An ugly habit, one I promised Jackson I would never break. I would do, you, I would wonder, do you have to keep a promise to a dead person? My mom holds my hand in hers as the music starts to play. Jackson's smiling face appears on the screen as we hear Eric Clapton's haunting song, Tears in Heaven. It's not long before tears in heaven make their way to my eyes, so I close them for a second. From out of nowhere, I'm in his car, by his side, music playing, windows rolled down, I kick off my shoes, put my bare feet on the dashboard, and put my hand in his. Never leave me, okay? I say to him. Okay, he tells me. He squeezes my hand like the seals, that seals the deal. My gaze returns to the beautiful boy on the screen while my thumb returns to my mouth. He broke his promise. I can't break mine. The minister speaks. It's hard when a young boy, young life is tragically cut short, but we must celebrate the life that was Jackson's. Look around at the friends and family who loved Jackson Montgomery. You will keep the memory of him alive. There is one memory that floods through my brain every five minutes. It reminds me over and over and over again. I'm the reason my boyfriend is gone. Memories might keep him alive, but they might kill me. After the service, people get in line to tell the story. Tell the f in line to tell the family, I'm sorry. He was so young, and let me know if I can do anything. I'm one of the first people in line because I wanted to get it over with. His mother is there, and I try to say I'm sorry, like I'm supposed to, but the words won't come my, from my brain to my mouth like they're supposed to. She looks at me, and I feel her eyes piercing my heart, making it hurt even more. She probably blames me like I blame myself. I can't blame her for that. She tries to smile. She asks politely with no feeling because she has to say something. Are you okay, Ava? I nod, but inside my heart is screaming. 
I'm kick and kicking and stomping, throwing a tantrum like a two-year-old because I'm definitely not okay. She hugs me, a quick hug, a fake hug, and I'm only hugging you because I don't know what else to do. Hug. Next, I hug the people Jackson loved most in the whole wide world. His sister, then his brother. I tell myself to be strong. I should be strong for them, but I'm not. I sob into Daniel's black jacket. Shh, he whispers. You're going to get through this. Just like his brother thinking about me, not himself. After that, I stand alone and wait for my mom so we can leave. There is no line for, of people coming up to me and say, I'm sorry, or he was so young, or let me know if I can do anything. It feels like everyone is looking at me. What are they thinking? Do I even want to know? And then, like an unexpected rain shower, on a day that's so dry you can't breathe, there's Callie squeezing me tight and Jessa holding my hand and Zoe rubbing my back. In that moment, I realize a circle of love is 10 times better than the procession of sorries. And you better read this book to figure out what happens next. We recommend this book to you if you are interested in ghost stories.